Guys, uh, welcome to uh, Applications Programming Tutorial. Here's a tutorial uh, how to handle and display an image on your UI screen. <coughs> so, <coughs> let me open a new project. Uh, Click Widget Application and name like uh, Image Load Test <coughs> 002 because I had uh, already uh, tested for before the recording this video. <coughs> And creating uh, anywhere uh, if feasible for you at the physical local drive. And um, your kit selection, you have to make one and at least one selection to move forward. And class name is um, image load test window. Um, it's just up to you. You guys can have a different uh, the class name for the main cl main window class. So like a uh, name it and just an and if you have a version control, configure that, set it up, and finish. That's it. <coughs> All right. And project. <coughs> One second. Mm, C language backend stopped working. Sometimes it shows up, but I might just close the program and close the CPP and start from this setup, right? And okay, the. Objective here is how to load and display the image files, right? Again. <clears throat> so let me open a uh, the UI and which sort of uh, you, you guys may be wondering, you know, which sort of uh, the widgets you need to use. Um, but um, you know, the my answer is a pretty it's pretty uh, easy, straightforward. We're gonna use the text level label. Um, because you know the text label is not only a great medium for the text display, but at the same time it is also a great one for the image display as well. So here is it, and you, know, you set it up in this way, like you know almost the full screen around here. You know, but bottom you can place it in anywhere, and you got it, and you have it saved. <coughs> I press the Control S or you know uh, the Command S, and then get back to edit. And image load test window dot cpp is the file we would like to work on. And I told you image, so you need to have an image um, like uh, the JPEG file or BMP bitmap or PNG or a GIF GIF files or Whatever else like that, and on one of the the oh, yeah one of the reference in uh, the the Qt IO Q Pixmap class. If you uh, the Google Q Pixmap class, then you can get into this page that is reading and writing image files, and then those are all uh, you know the supported file format. So JPEG and GIF and PNGs are all you know supported, which is good, and. <clears throat> Qt supports even <coughs> sorry <coughs> image processing and writing. So that's it, which is good. So here, and you need to make sure before you load it from your code, you need to make sure uh, your project folder actually has the links for those files, uh, image files. So let me open um, and get to the project folder. I know where it is. It's uh, I. Because you know the I specifically assigned you know that folder in a certain uh, you know project folder. I use a Qt project in my users and TWP in my C drive, and here is the image load test 002, right? And here is it. And one another, I open a new um, yeah the Explorer Finder, and I'm gonna use two files. One is bears and one is burger. So I copy them. To inside of this folder, and let's uh let's give it a check. You know what what is it, right? It is as a JPEG file, the yummy bugger. There we go. And GIF file. It's a uh, yeah. Two bears are uh yeah Jedi. Jedi bears are fighting against each other. I know, right? This is crazy, right? Uh, but um, it is what it is. Actually, it's a uh, GIF. Uh, yeah, this kind of animated video. But um, if you load it in a on a pix map of a cute, then it's gonna be just like a one scale image. So it's uh, gonna be less fun. So, so. 
Oh, so we have Bears GIF and Burgers JPEG. And you right click here and in, in the project in the top and then add existing files and Bears and Burger. You have a multiple choice you can have and then open and then it will automatically parse them and analyze them and it will have them added into the other files. Then you are ready to go. Ah, it stopped working. I don't like it though. Yeah, again. Okay, so I mean, yeah, hope you guys, uh, yeah, yeah, so the, all the codes, you know, that doesn't really go in this way though. Uh, but um, yeah, this is cute sometimes. I mean, not cute. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, uh, here we go. So let's first load those images and then change it. So assign it to the label we created. So, um, if you get to the Qpix map and you know the, you just type it like a, a cute in Google like cute and label and Qpix map image load then you guys will have a lot of references on it uh, but um, let me show you how to do that in you know, the most straightforward way so let's um uh, you know define a one function in the headers uh, you know the, let's let's open the header file and this is the class of our main window and then let's uh, add some private functions like a void load image and uh, void um, a, uh, not necessarily load image right now. I mean, yeah, I mean the, the, the other functions for um, load image would be fine. And uh, for the private member variables, I mean member functions, we added member variables. Let's add a Qpix map um, image one. Um, bears, Qpix map image uh, burger, right? Image bears and image burgers and Qpix map Qp uh, the upper uh, uppercase load image. This is actually a camera case. Um, um, yeah, this is a uh, yeah up to your convention, but um, please make it consistent anyhow. And then uh, let's uh, define void. Um, load uh, image and this function is supposed to do the image loading. Um, let's say QString uh, burger file name is a burger JPEG and QString uh, bear file name is bears uh, GIF, right? And then um, you had uh, image bears and image burgers, right? Image bears is a pix map. So you uh, load uh, the file like mm, you load it by you know image bears load uh, you know bear file name like this. But um, uh, we need to make sure if this image is loaded correctly so if you wrap it up like this and um, for you know quick debugging let's include uh, io stream it is fine and you know we don't use uh, you know namespace std to only so we use like std colon colon and see out uh, you know bare image load uh, Loaded successfully. STD end line like this, and this is message. And um, uh, we need to scale it down. Image pairs. Um, yeah. Before we scale it down, uh, let's move back to the UI because we need to make uh this image size you know fitting exactly uh to the what is it uh to the label box. So let's uh, we need to have a reference of this label uh, box that is uh, let's say let's name it as a image label and we have an image label uh, you know Q label class you name the image label instance inside of it and uh, let's get back to the edit and if you see then um, you know you guys can scale the loaded fix uh, loaded fix. Uh, uh, the pix map, pixel map, uh, like uh, image bears equal image bears uh, scaled 
and UI from UI like like the last one UI and image label and size it gives it it's the size and then you know so that it can get scaled cute colon colon and kit aspect ratio uh, by expanding like this so here you guys can use just the cute colon colon uh, keep aspect ratio uh, if it if it it goes in this way then you know it just scale up and you know keep its original you know images aspect ratio but um you know it's if, if it uh, if you if you use a by expanding also you uh, post the fix then you guys can expand the image and then crop it so that you guys can you know put the image you know full uh, image full have an image full uh, to the image label and this is the one and so that you guys are ready to load the image and the next one I just uh, copied and pasted uh, the whole of them and the image burger let me quick check uh, the image burgers Pix pixel map image burgers the name is right image burgers and uh, burger file name and then you know burger image loaded carefully and then image burgers is image burgers scaled don't confuse between those two you know if you copy and paste like me then make sure to you know to make those uh, the those two are you know, consistent each other and like this okay here we go and um, is this actually the loading image and you know how to uh, set you know the assign that you know already loaded the pixel map to the you know, image label is happening like um, mm, UI uh, and then image label because the image label is the target element we would like to paint that image and set pix map uh, pix map p only p the uh, uppercase and then uh, image bears or image burgers and then those two are loading and this is actually uh, you know the, the painting right uh, from the loaded image so um, you know the, I just uh, defined the load image so I mean as, as a kind of a member function so you need to call this somewhere like uh, I would like to set it as a kind of a by default you know so I mean um, uh, let me uh, load it in its uh, uh, creation. I mean, you know, when it's uh, initialized, uh, it's this class, and you know, th uh, this class is initialized. I mean, that's a uh, uh, let's call this function from the init initializing phase. That is, this is a constructor, and then UI setup UI, and after setup, and you call the load image, and then it goes down here, and then automatically, you know, load the images and then paint it out. Um, you may want to switch the image. Um, then you know the let's make the load images just load the images and then so to say um, you know this is actually the line to paint you know or you know if you would like to switch the image then you guys can later use in you know, somewhere else the other uh, the button click event handler uh, somewhere else somewhere else you guys can add like uh, image burgers so if you just keep those two lines inside of it, then you know it will just quickly paint the bears and then immediately switch into burgers, so you won't see any bears. Uh, but um, yeah, let me just comment it out. Oh my! So uh, yeah, I had some mistake. I mean, in uh, de uh, declare uh, defining uh, the member function, I had to add image load test window, right? Because you know I'm defining the. Uh, the member function of uh, this class and then in all of them image bears and image burgers are working correctly yeah uh, sorry about the confusion and um uh, one more thing is that uh yeah you need to get to project and then you know the uncheck the shadow build this is an evil so the un uncheck the shadow build and you're good to go most of the time and then run it and you will get an idea right the, the burger image was you know they loaded successfully and you know if you'd like to load the bears image then you're good to go with 
I press the Control R uh, to uh, the run the application, and bare image is here in pretty good. And you may want to later uh, add a button, like you know whatever. Where is a button? I please help me. Push button is here. Here we go. All right. This here is a push button. And um, uh, you may want to, you know, the assign a go to slot and event handler click, and then load like if the first one is bears, and then you call like, you know, the image burgers the switch, and then you run it, and you guys can switch the images in real time so that. Yeah, easily change the burger like this. And if you're on the Mac and if you don't see any changes or updates on it, then you know just a uh, call repaint function so that you know your GUI can repaint it quickly and to make sure you are on this you know the right page in right direction. So that's it. So this is how to how you guys can modify and manage all the UIs, including images, inside of the GUI, pane, and window design. That's it.